Okay, in this video, we will discuss another capacitor questions from A2. This is from May, June 18, paper 4, 2. So let's begin. After I zoom in. Alright, explain what is meant by a capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor. So if you're aware of the previous examples, I don't know, previous or other examples or other past year questions, you will notice that the marks are not very consistent. Sometimes it's one mark, sometimes it's three marks. But the marks should actually guide you on how much you want to write. So for example, if it's three marks, you should write a lot. Okay, so here is the full, full set of the explanation of what is capacitance. So you will start off with the actual equation or the actual definitions. Capacitance is the ratio of charge on a single or on one plate of a capacitor to the potential difference between the plates of the capacitor. Okay? So you kind of like need that rolling first. Where are the marks? Ratio of charge to potential difference, one mark. Charge on a single plate of a capacitor, one mark. Potential difference between the plates of the capacitor, especially the word between, one mark. Three marks. Alright. B. Three parallel plates capacitor have a capacitance of six. So you have three parallel plates and a capacitance of six microfarad. Okay. Draw circuit diagrams, one in each case, to show how the capacitors may be connected together to give a combined capacitance of 9 and 4 microfarad. So if you remember in your AS, we tend to do this a lot for resistors. We ask you to build a network of resistors that can give you a total or a combined resistance of such and such a value. So right now we have 3, 6 microfarad capacitors. So you can think, oh, what are the options? Actually, you can do probability one. You can put 3 of them in series like this, then uh, this capacitance will be uh, 1 over 6. So I'm just going to draw here, okay? I'm going to do it such a way where, as if you have no hunch. Lah. So we're going to just go on pure guessing. So 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 inverted. So this will be 3 over 6 inverted, which is 2. This is 2 microfarad. Nope. Alright, next one. Maybe... Two of them have to be parallel. And one of them is series. Alright, so that would be 1 over 12 because you have 6 and 6 in parallel plus 1 over 6, which is for this 6. Okay, inverted. So this will be, um, I guess, 2 over 12 plus 1 over 12. 3 over 12 inverted. So this is 4 microfarad. Is there a 4? There we go. So this is part 2. Yay. Okay, what are the other options? I guess you could be thinking, maybe, miss, we can do parallel like this. Okay, can. No problem. But if you connect this way, uh, this is actually 6 plus 6 plus 6. Hmm, not nice number, this one. But it's 18 microfarad, which is not what they want. They wanted 9. So here is the other option. You could have one in series that is connected to... Uh, sorry, one single one alone, forever alone, that is connected in parallel to two other that are in series like this. Okay, so if this is your drawing, then what would your capacitance, your total capacitance be? Well, my friends, this one, you have uh, two, in par two in series, this six and this six. So I'll start with this one first. One over six plus one over six inverted plus... This 6 that is in parallel. Okay, so what will this one be? This will be 3 plus 6, which is the beautiful 9 microfarad. Okay, so if you apply all of this carefully, these are all the options already. So I can just draw the circuit. Lah, all right, so I'm going to... Actually, during the exam, it's better if you label the capacitance. 
Okay, but if you don't because it's one mark, I don't think it matters. But I'm just going to play it safe like a good science student and I will label everybody. You get a label. It's like giving name tags to all your pets in Minecraft, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Everybody gets a label. So the four microfarad, I mean, if you want to, I guess you could draw out a circuit like this one. Meaning you will connect a power supply between point A and point B. All right, and then you just want to be very extra. Also can. So 4.0 microfarad. Mm. Will look something like this. You will have two of them parallel. And the other one in series with the parallel connection. So this is A, this is B. And the 4 microfarad will be C, A, B. Label, oh, label everybody. So please make sure you use the correct capacitor symbol, uh, which is two parallel plates of approximately the same line. Just make sure when you draw battery, it's like very obvious it's battery. And when you draw capacitor, it's very obvious it's capacitor. You can see these two symbols are pretty different. All right, so I think that's all for this question. Uh, there is a part C, which involves uh, some calculation regarding energy stored in a capacitor. This one, uh, maybe if you haven't watched that video, you can watch it. If you have, then I invite you to try it. I will stop the question discussion here. Thanks for watching. And if you find this helpful, do share, subscribe, like, and support us. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye now.